Good evening, you bunch of gorgeous creatures out there, if you're watching. Just see how I look. Pretty good. Ooh. You know when you do that and your chin wobbles? It's not very good for a 45-year-old, is it? Anyway, on that note, we're going to do a bit of cooking again, but we're using another cooker, uh, which I hope, which you hope you'll like. What's that line? Anyway, so I'll flip you around and I'll show you what I'm going to use. And you might end up, I might be a bit scorched after this because it's a little bit, it's quite old. I'll show okay, you. I did a review, a well, not a review, I did a renovation on this uh, a while ago. Are you going to correct me if anybody knows any different? Please do. I do not mind, okay? So, dated, I think, which I looked up, 1920s, 1930s. I don't know exactly when. Okay, a little primer stove. And I always used to believe when I was a kid that primus was like you had to like prime it, pump it. It's not, I believe. It's a primer, so it's primed using this little tiny dish at the bottom. So I've not, I've tried this at home. I tried it with Coleman's fuel and it went ballistic. I had to put a wet cloth over it. So it is actually a petrol. It's not paraffin, is it? No, it's actually a petrol. It says petrol on it. I don't know if I can. I'm just going to get my specs, have a look. Okay, petrol. And in Napatha, whatever that means. England number 171536 Primus. If you want to know all this, people do. They love it. And it's a Primus number 70. Now, number 71, I found, there's one on eBay, and it's got a little device coming out here so whether this necks longer and it's got a, an adjustable because you know me and my sim, sim, simmering so i'm going to prime it with meths but fill it with petrol uh i'm going to do it i know i'm on the barbecue thing here because i'm not taking it in the cabin just in case and i will be cooking some steaks on it because i promised i would and i promised i'd show you all my cookers because i'm stupid like that and there you go. So we're going to give this a go. It came as I've not done anything to this. This is I just gave it a clean up, and that was all. This actual device I found amongst my late brother's stuff. It was stored at my house in a trailer. So I thought, well, let's save him. Not anything. Let's just have a go and see what runs like. So I'll pull it back out in a minute. I'll top it up. I'll put fuel in first, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Okay. So all I did was. Squeeze that as tight as I can and just use it as a funnel. There you go. I didn't want to do it because if I spill it everywhere, I'm going to look right plonker. And not just that. Um, I don't trust it. <laughs> okay, this was a modified washer that I found. And I filed it all down so it fits the cap. It may be a little bit, but it fits if you look at it. You can see that. Can you see that? Anyway, so that goes on. On the tip there, nice and tight. Um, I'll prime that and we're going to give it a go in a sec. First of all, priority get rid of all your flammable stuff. Anything you've got, I've got a bit of fuel left in that. I've got that residue and fuel in that. Right, okay, so I brought meths, quite handy little squeezy bottle from our Amazon, and <laughs> Ready for this? That's my water, just in case. I'm not taking no chances. Believe it or not, I've got fuel already here, so I might not use the mess. It looks like it's seeped a little bit. Already into the top. So I could just do with lighting that now, couldn't we? And just see what happens. I've got to be careful here, I do not. Hold on. So you don't prime it, I believe, if somebody can enlighten me, I take it, it just works off pressure or a build-up of pressure from the heat causing uh, the g gases. Ooh, there we go. Oh, sorry guys, let's have a look. Let's get you in there, let's get you out, guys and girls. Remove every inflammable. I'm not going to switch it off because it's a, it'll be the interesting part. 
And if it starts to go funny, I'm going, I'm running. I remember, so I had this going with uh, Coleman's. Whew, I tell you what, it was going some. So I also I found the jets, I replaced the jets on it as well. Ooh, there we go. Sorry. Clever how they work. It must be just the heat. Now, I don't know what it's like because the first time I've ever tried it with petrol unleaded. I don't know what the fuel was like back in the 1920s. I presume it was leaded. <laughs> Working. Right, just leave that for a second and I'll get the Ooh, sorry, I'll get the frying pan on. Okay, I'll just took you off the try for another quick look. It's working. I thought the sort of heat that generates, I know the Coleman's was absolutely quite scary. Let's build it up, look. Wasn't expecting that. Good flame. Of course, there's no simmer. It's either on or it's off. So let's get some oil in the pan. Let's get this uh, steak on the go. A little bit higher. Ooh, smoking a bit already. I was wondering. I was gonna. I was sort of thinking you might get the smell of the the petrol, but there's no smell. Ooh, a steak smells divine. I'll just show you that. I've no idea how long it's going to last, so let's crack on. Garlic, which you probably noticed, it's up a little bit. Wow, you got to admit, how old is it now then? So it's 19, let's say 1920s, so let's be really dramatic. 1920s, so 2080 years old. Right. Yeah. That's not going to take long, is it? That's going for it, that is. A bit more salt. Am I right? 
I might take it off the heat a bit. Cooking it too quick. So there's your drawback. You can't control it unless you lift it up even higher. So you stand there like that. Which I'm not going to do that, but I could do. If anybody's got any more info, I'll be more than happy to uh, listen to what you've got to say. If you've got any information on them. Just got a bit of oil in. Well, whether because it's the unleaded fuel, I don't know, but. a few behind enemy lines. <laughs> Didn't know they were there if they were cooking something. But the jet I bought for it was the right jet because I took the old one out. And uh, they were on eBay actually, I was really surprised. Okay, I'll leave it, I'll let it stand for a bit, but I can't turn it off. So. You zoom in. Pretty impressive, isn't it? For 80 years, 2020. Hold on. Oh, it's not. 2020 is 100, 100 years, is it? Yeah. This is 1920s. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right. It wasn't very brainy at school, you can probably tell. So, yeah, 100 years old. That's impressive. Anyone want to buy it? If you want to buy it, contact me via email. 700 quid. That's cheap. <laughs> um, we're going to have a bit overkill on the protein, I'm afraid. It was left over from yesterday. One of my high protein salads. So it's tuna, apple, courgette, onions, spring onions, and also the odd corn. So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So what do you think of the cooker then? They're a hundred years old. I'm impressed with that little thing. Look at that. So uh, the only way I can cook the steak is on and off, I think, is it'll just incinerate it. <laughs> I love my steak rare. The rarer the better. In France we have it Seigneur or à la Francais and they laugh at us when we say that. Say so you want your steak à la Francais and they go, oh, oui, really? Monsieur, you stupid? Yeah, or Seigneur. There we go. So I'll dish up in a minute. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up. That, this thumb, not this particular one, but those thumbs up help the channel immensely. Uh, I'll put a link to the videos when I was upgrading this or re renovated it here. And over here, in this corner, is my subscribe button with my ugly mug on it and if you click on that you see a notification bell if you click on that you'll be notified of any other videos coming up i try to make it interesting as i can i do my best i'm not sponsored by anybody or i get freebies off anybody it's all me so 
This is what we do. So I'll give Jane a shout and we'll dish off. Sorry, I won't give Jane a shout, I'll just reheat it a bit. Well, just put it on the glass. Oh, it looks nice, and it? that is lush. Okay, guys, which and girls, which piece would you have? That one looks like off of the rib eye. It's not. Look at that for a chunky monkey, though, eh? Hey? Look at that. <laughs> oh, she's dying down. Look at that. That was a good timing then. Right, leave it on. Let's bring you down. And there you go. Whew, that peaceful. So, no, draw back, it's bloody noisy. Draw back. <laughs> you could probably take a bullet with the amount of noise it takes out, and it doesn't simmer. But it's a hundred years old and it works. That is absolutely amazing. Superb. I won't touch it, I'll wait till it goes completely out. Because that's going to be pretty hot. Yep. There you go. Another cooker tested. By the way, I was right about the steaks. One was a ribeye, one was a rump. Jane says she picked it up by mistake. Or did she? Because she likes ribeye. Shh. Ribeye and rump. She has told me to half them. You're thinking, no. Oh, I don't want to half this. I'll tell you, I'll do it that way. I shot the knife the other day. I had to. Jane was cutting the grass with it. Oh, look at that. See that? You see that? And I'll leave her the nice bit of the ribeye with. Well, I touched the plate. Now I'll have the one with the gristle in. Actually, that piece of fat there is really good. That's really tasty. So this is quadruple protein today, I think. There you go. I suppose I've got to give you a taste test in a minute, I? Okay, let's try a bit of the rum. Well, that is definitely rare. And I'm using an ordinary table knife, look. <laughs> Cut straight through it. You see? Oh, come on! Oh. That is lush. Sorry, I'm a nosy bugger. Let's try. Oh. You can just rip it apart, look. There's your rib eye. A bit yeah, but anyway, let's try it. I mean, that is beautiful and tender, but this has got a unique taste to it. I do like rib eye. The rump. Philip's my favourite, so you've got Philip, and then you've got rump. Not, that sirloin's okay, but you've got to get it right. 
but still it can be a bit tough. Fillet is the most prized meat and it's also the most expensive. Loads of high protein. Prawns, tuna, steak, there's loads. And it's high protein pasta as well, and that was it. Organic, maybe organic eggs or something. Got a couple of paragliders going over. Where's the other one? I can't see. Oh, there he is, by that tree. See him? A paraglider or a chif chaff? No, I can't see the chif chaff. Oh, well, there, no, here he is at the top. Don't know if you can see him. Chip, 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 chap, chip, chap, chip, chap. Probably not. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, really appreciate it. Like I said, thumbs up and everything else. And how's your steak, Jane? Lovely. Oop, out of focus. Oh, look at that. Mm. All right, take care. Bye. Say bye.